Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Oh, this is just a little test piece. I was showing a guy how to TIG weld the other day. And needed something to weld together. And he asked a question, and I get this question a lot, believe me. Why do I need a different gas for the different kinds of welders? You know, I need a mixed gas for my MIG welder. I need argon for my TIG welder. Why can't I just use one bottle? Okay, let me show you why. So this is my Everlast Power MTS 221 STI. And it's on this big cart. I've got both of the gases back here for both MIG welding and TIG welding. And because this is an MTS machine, a MIG TIG stick machine, so it's got the two different processes that I need the two gases for. So I've got mixed gas, that's 75% uh, argon, 25% CO2, and then I've got just straight argon for the TIG, so I, you know, the TIG portion of the machine. And I got this little splitter on here, so I can take either the argon or the mixed gas and just run it into the single hose that goes into the back of the machine. Uh, I found this over at my local welding supply store. It's for it look in the uh, look where the argon acetylene paraphernalia is. That's where I found it. So let me just turn on some argon, open up the bottle, or open up the splitter ra rather. So I've got the welder running. It's all set up on TIG. It's set at uh, 130 amps and I'm just gonna run straight argon, just like I normally would. And let me just run a little bead so you can see how that looks. And then we'll stop, I'll switch the gas over, and run another bead. Oh boy, you're gonna love this. So here's just TIG on, uh, just with straight argon. And we'll just get a little puddle going, add a little filler wire, and you can see it's just nice and clean and smooth, there's no sparks, there's no smoke, there's no nothing. It just looks like a good weld. And then with the same settings on the machine, other than the gas, oh good lord, look at that mess. So you can see right here, that's the first weld I did with just the plain argon. And then this is the weld I just did with the argon CO2 mix that I would normally use on a MIG welder. That shows you why you need the right kind of gas for the right kind of welding process that you're doing. Whether you're running the straight argon with your TIG or you're running the mixed gas at 75% argon, 25% CO2 on your MIG welder, and depending on what kind of metal you're working on. So if you're TIG welding steel, yeah, you definitely need just straight argon. If you're MIG welding steel, you run the mixed gas. Now, there are other types of gas out there. There are other mixes. There are tri-mixes. There are, uh, you know, there's like a dual mix that's like 92% argon and 8% CO2. And, you know, sometimes they throw a little helium in it. It gets really confusing. But these are the two most common. These are the two that I use the most. So I hope that answers your question. When you get a chance, please come out to my website, see what's going on out there. Address is right down here. And I do appreciate you all watching. Thank you. If there was just some way I could fart in that bottle and make this welder run on methane. <laughs>